Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing great and have had a great, wonderful week and are having a wonderful morning of praise and worship for our Lord and Savior and that everybody there at Lawson Road is just doing really, really well. You know, nowadays a lot of people, they just seem to be aggravated, don't they? Now, they're not really mad or upset about anything in particular, but they're just plain old aggravated. And you can tell it by the look on their face and by the way that they talk to you that there's just something going on with them. Uh, usually, though, if you ask them about what's uh, causing them to be aggravated, uh, that aggravation turns into irritation, and it's usually with you. And then they start saying that, well, I just I just can't get happy. You know, that anything that I do, anything that people say to me, that nothing can make me happy. Well, you know, I think there's the problem right there. They're trying to be happy. They're trying to rely on all the things that are going on around them and in their lives to keep them happy. Well, the problem with that is it doesn't usually work out very good for them. Now, there's an old saying that I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard that says, happiness depends on happenings, but joy depends on Jesus. Now, that's what we should be looking for, isn't it? Not happiness, but joy. Now, joy uh, comes from the things in our lives that uh, come from Jesus. You know, everything else around it, they're constantly changing and we can't depend on them to make us happy. But Jesus, he never changes. He wants to be the constant uh, in our lives that gives us that joy. Now, there's another saying that the first part of it says, always to choose joy. I think that's really important. Matter of fact, even the Bible even tells us in Philippians 4, 4, to rejoice in the Lord always. And also in Psalm 31, 7, it says that, that we can have joy because of his unfailing love. But, you know, we got to choose to have that joy. Now, the last part of that uh, old saying uh, starts off with always choose joy. The last part says always to give joy. Now, if we choose to have the joy of Jesus in us, shouldn't we want others to see that joy too? Now, wouldn't everybody's lives be better if we all had joy instead of trying to look for happiness everywhere? Well, I think we would. And how easy it is to give that joy away, isn't it? People can easily see a difference in us uh, with the joy that Jesus has in our lives. Now, we still have things happen to us and things don't always go right, but the way that we react can reflect Jesus. And when people see Jesus at work in our lives, well, then maybe they'll see that difference and they'll want to have our joy too. So, you know, yes, it's always a good thing to, to always choose joy, but I think that it's also just important to give away joy and always give joy. Of all y'all have a blessed week.